happy friday if it's not friday for you happy whatever day it is um i just recorded a leg day not the whole leg day don't get too excited um i just recorded my hip thrusts and my rdls gonna do a little voiceover with that of uh, tips and tricks that i normally like to focus on and that i have my clients focus on when they're doing those movements um i'm thinking of getting a little what are they called a mic little mic to connect so i can actually just do it right then and there because it's kind of annoying just pausing the video and doing it over on the laptop which i feel like that's more annoying for you guys to watch um but yeah just showing you guys a little bit about that and then after going home right now just left bird rock I'm gonna go eat food I'm gonna eat some eggs and toast per usual but yeah enjoy my vlog today <laughs> I swear I used to do hip thrust machine and would get the worst lower back pain in the next day. So I'm here so you guys can avoid that. Number one, make sure your knee is not passing your toe when doing this movement. Now, specifically for today, my feet were a bit up more than usual to target my hamstrings. But if you bring them a bit down, you will focus on glutes, less hammies as well. If you bring them way more down, then you're going to be focusing on those quads. Number two, make sure your chin is tucked in along with your core as you go down and come back up. But lastly, do not hyperextend when coming up. You should be aligned with your head, hips to knees queen. <laughs> let's get into some dumbbell rdls this is personally my favorite when it comes to legs and booty and everything so first things first on number one i want to emphasize that setting up part and picking up the weight is just as important than doing the movement it's all super important a lot of the times i see people get injured from just that part and so i want to emphasize that number two roll your shoulders back before you start make sure your chest is up make sure that core is tucked and that chin is tucked in as well you do not want your head or eyes roaming around when you're doing your reps because that can actually cause injury in your core and a lot of other areas and we are avoiding that next push your booty back as if there is a car door and just your booty is trying to close that door think of it like that number four remember you are only lit pushing your hips and booty back and you aren't squatting that's a big one i see so many people want to squat no 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 slight bend in those knees but push that booty and hips back only i was literally dead after this and my friend was yelling at me at like 5 a.m to do more reps and i was like hey yo chill it's my deload week <laughs> Is this the sun I feel? <laughs> this is not going <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Look at that freaking sun. Let me just... Ooh, I'm getting people in the back of this video. Um, I'm at Bird Rock. Better get some coffee. Whoa. Hold on. I already have my coffee. Uh, it's scary. Yep, it's black and Americano, but I have my own creamer. So I got my creamer in here, gonna put it in there. The reason why I'm doing my creamer, I'm usually not that much of a stickler when it comes to getting a coffee. I usually get my own order, but this is my last week in my cut. So I'm being a little more picky, a little more anal because I wanna be on track, I wanna hit my shit, I wanna hit my numbers. When I'm in my calorie deficit, I'm very on point with every single thing. Even when I'm at my maintenance, I'm pretty on point, but the weekends I'm a little more lenient and a little more enjoyable. Um, definitely huge on balance and sustainability, but I'm in my cut, and you're only in your cut for a certain time frame, so you might as well be super fucking consistent rather than not, um, so you can get those full results, right? So. I'm done my cut this weekend. Ah, I'm so excited. I think Evan and I might be going on a date night to in a really nice Italian restaurant in La Jolla. I'm so excited. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I'm going to head home very soon, take showers, eat breakfast, get ready for work for the rest of the day, and all of that. It's Friday, but it's probably not Friday for you right now. I usually have to take a big sip of this so I can have room for my creamer. And if you guys know one thing about me, I don't like black coffee, which is pretty ironic right now, but it's fine. We're doing it for the cut. For the cut. <laughs> it's like, it takes your breath away in the worst possible way. Be kind to all kinds. Oh, you gotta get a little synonymous. So, so I get a close up of this. 
<laughs> we'll put it down so I can see it. Get the sides, get the sides. Ew, my hands probably look so ugly at that angle. <laughs> oh my god, my coof. We got the coof so we can go poof. Anywho, you guys may know this or may not know this just because I started posting on YouTube, but if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I'm a 5 a.m.er. 5 a.m.er with the gym, yes. I'll be honest though, I don't have to go to the gym at 5 a.m., especially with my career and my day to day life routine. But I choose to go to the 5 a.m. because I feel like there's a big importance behind it. And personally for me, I just genuinely feel like it sets the tone for my day. Now something I actually want to highlight is I used to lack so much freaking discipline. I used to play soccer since being 5 years old all the way up until through college playing D1. And that honestly meant I had crazy structure, discipline, and consistency with everything that I did. But that also meant I had someone telling me what to specifically do by what time, when, and all of that. When I graduated college and I started to pursue my career, I moved to San Diego. The first year was so fun and exciting because everything's so new and I was in my new season in my life. Yet, I lacked so much discipline. I lacked so much routine. I still got my things done, but in such a weird order and never did the same thing every day. And it's not that you technically need to do the same thing every day to be successful, but there has to be some part of routine, especially when it comes to owning your own business and just hitting your own personal fitness goals like I had. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest. Some days I would wake up at 6 a.m. and some some days I would wake up at 11 a.m. Some days I would sleep until 10, not get up, not get out of the house by 2 p.m. It was not cute, it was not fun, and honestly, even though sleeping in felt good, I had no excuse to be sleeping in that much. So what did I do? Personally, I lacked a lot of discipline because I was out in the real world by myself doing it on my own. It generally was me versus me with my habits, my life, and everything that I was building. As the days and the months went by, I started to feel more like shit every single day. So I set the goal of hitting my my gym sessions at 5 a.m. and let me tell you it was rough in the beginning but I stuck fucking to it now let's get into why I think this is necessary personally for myself and I think it's necessary to set goals like this to level up personally for me this goal was a big goal for me because it put me in a discomfort zone and it set a new level expectation for my standards with myself I'm such a firm believer to have self-love you need to have self-respect you need to have self-respect with yourself to set goals and actually accomplish those goals. When you accomplish those goals, you're not only doing self-respect, but you're doing self-love. And when you have self-respect and self-love, you grow your confidence in with yourself because you just have built that trust with yourself of holy shit, I said what I was going to do. And when you do something consistently, that's what builds your confidence. Confidence does not come from external things. Yeah, losing the weight, yeah, building the muscle may help build that confidence, but at the end of the day, it's solely at the fact that you sat that goal and you accomplished that goal. I know I'm getting into it, but honestly, waking up at 5 a.m. truly changed my life and I'm not even being dramatic about that. I have so much in the day and when I start my day off already ticking off a habit that early in the morning, I literally feel unstoppable. I'm like, holy shit, I fucking did that. Excuse my potty mouth. That's something you guys will really quickly find out if you guys are on my Instagram, I have a potty mouth. <laughs> I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to like lower the curse words in my lingo, but it's also just like part of me. So I'm like, eh, whatever. <laughs> if there is anything that you gain from just this little clip of me talking about this, it's not that you have to be a 5 a.m. or to be successful. It's just you got to set habits that put you in your discomfort zone and actually challenge you because someone like myself who've been in their fitness journey for nine plus years, this shit can get very repetitive. And although I love it with my whole heart and I still have the spark for the gym, I find it very important to challenge myself in new ways with my training sessions and honestly, just like my day-to-day -day life. Because if I'm not growing, I feel stagnant. And when I feel stagnant, girl, let me tell you, it's, it ain't good. <laughs> My mental health starts to decrease. I just don't feel overall good in my life. It's not that you always need to be doing the next big thing, but there's little things like these things that can go such a long way that I think we overlook. Do something that challenges you, but also remember your worthiness isn't connected to any outcome or reward. You were born worthy, and I wish someone told me that to begin with when I started my fitness journey. No physique, no career, no job will give you that worthiness. You are born with it. You were born with it, remember that. <laughs> you know, y'all know I can talk for days because I'm a chatter, I'm a Latina Peruvian chatter. If you're Latina, you be chatting all the time and I'm a chatter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap up this call or call. <laughs> 
That's when you know I take cold all day when I'm saying that. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog and I'm excited to see you guys next week.